Other interesting cultural news, you have Bud Light Manning score C gets a pretty low score. And this comes as Bud Light attempts to get back some of their old fans and use the likeness of one of these famous sports ball players out there. Although I think he's probably best known for just, you know, marketing anything if you have enough money these days. But nevertheless, a lot of sports balls enthusiasts appreciate Mr. Manning's ability to throw pigskins. Although, ironically, they don't even, call it, they don't even use pigskins anymore. It's forced in the environment they actually use synthetic materials instead of pigs, which actually is a renewable resource with delicious things many people appreciate, like football skins and bacon. But nevertheless, Bud Light said before this, thankfully it's a short clip of, well, that wasn't a great... It doesn't look good. I, the video is, before you actually click play, it has a screenshot of Mr. Manning. And his smile is debatably as awkward as Ron DeSantis, or mine, or Dil Mulvaney. It, it's, he, he almost looks like he's a hostage, like he doesn't want to be there. But again, it's with the right still frame, everyone looks awkward. But it is funny that, again, depending on what editing software they're using, they start the video with him looking... Is that, it's like a mix between a smile and a scowl? It, it's not great, but nevertheless... The text before the video says, quote, Time is running out, but your Bud Light could still hashtag score seat for you at the AFC and NFC Championship Games or Super Bowl 50... Is it 58? 57? Whatever the sports ball's full is. Learn more at this website. And it looks like, again, the statistics are all taken 48 hours after, so plenty of time for it to brew. Pun moderately intended. I will try to find a new pun for that sometime soon. But nevertheless... It did get 7,564 views and 72 likes, which means, statistically speaking, people prefer a random horse from Anheuser Bush than Mr. Manning. Which, again, if you're watching the long, for long format of the show, we covered how Anheuser Bush did a picture tweet of one of the Clydesdale horses and is saying, you know, buy our beer, but not really, it's pretty pathetic. But more people did like that random horse than Mr. Manning. Now, Mr. Manning is, again, I'm not. We maybe should say allegedly a hostage. I mean, he looks pretty uncomfortable in this video. But nevertheless, he's standing in a bar with a Bud Light in his hand. Definitely not tricking it. And there's a Bud Light shade above the pool table. And perhaps they're trying to play in a nostalgia. They actually have an old-fashioned change machine behind him. Which, man, I... Definitely aging myself. We had one of those at the arcade as when I was a youth. When we played real games, or video games are actually cabinets in the arcade. But nevertheless... It's only about nine seconds long, thankfully, and he didn't even suit up, as all men should. He's wearing a little sweater, and not, he's wearing, like, dress pants? F minus for, for any sentiment of fashion, but nevertheless, we'll play this real quick. Love by light, show us for a chance to score a seat at Super Bowl 58. That's it? That terrible music of... Unfortunately, they'll probably get a copy strike, uh, copyright strike on it, unfortunately. And they did get 55 comments. Although, let's see how many of them are real and how many of them are just people wanting free stuff versus actually people with mock of intellect writing smart things, or at least understandable things. And again, it looks like it got 72 likes, which is another friendly reminder to like this video. Statistically speaking, this won't get more likes than the Bud Light video itself. However, as a wise pilot once said, never tell me the odds. Going down the first comment comes from one of the best profiles on X Twitter, bar none, I would argue. Some might say I'm biased, but the first comment you see is from The Topping Show. And that says, quote, what will the comments sections be today? And it's the GIF, or as youth might call it, the GIF of the dog where surrounding him is all the fire and it zooms in and he just says, this is fine. Not to brag, but that did get six likes, which is kind of hilarious. More people like the GIF than some of my videos on the YouTube, but nevertheless. I did get six likes and 100 views. The second comment comes from Dr. Hama, and they say, quote, pizza business, slow painting, you're ruining your brand, unquote, getting seven likes. Looks like Catherine did chime in. So again, first two comments, both negative, or at least pejorative. And that's, you have Catherine doing the hashtag score seat. No one liked her. Bud Light didn't even respond to her when she's saying, I want to win a Bud Light, which, or sports balls tickets, seats, but. Yeah, this is Catherine. She's a serial. We looked at her profile before. She will repost anything if it's free. It doesn't matter if it's a can of Mountain Dew, a random cooler, sports balls tickets to any event, just free. So again, F minus for marketing because that's not building loyalty to the brand. It's not inspiring them. This doesn't even have a requirement to post a picture of you with their product, which in theory would mean you would have to purchase it, or at least if you're clever, just go to the store, 
you can get a picture with you with the product. So it's not, it's not really a call to action besides going to the website, which I guess they're data mining, that's something, or gathering data, but no one liked that specifically. Brave Mango, though, F minus for marketing, you would, you would think there'd have to be a picture of a mango, perhaps with a George Washington hat and maybe a musket, but no, it's just a picture of a skull. This alleged Brave Mango simply had a picture of Dill Mulvaney in the, dressed up as Audrey Hepburn, uh, holding a Bud Light, and then the can with Dill Mulvaney's face on it that has the, the text saying, celebrating 365 days of womanhood, which, interestingly enough, in terms of business history and like memorabilia, that's probably the most expensive can on the planet in terms of having an impact on a business. I mean, in Q2 last year, they lost $400, $400 million in sales alone, just evaporated because of that can and the subsequent videos, and, or like one video and two pictures that Del Mulvaney took to try to increase sales for the product, which ironically, hilariously, backfired in the worst possible way. That got 11 likes. Julia Broderick, who is a, looks like a repeating commenter I've seen a couple times of these, she simply says, not until you apologize, bucko. Which, I'll say A plus for using a unique word. You don't hear bucko enough these days. And that did get 13 likes. Drink Strohs says, quote, Eli has more rings. Drink, drink, Strohs. Again, I'm not a doctor. However, if you click the subscribe button, it may help with my speaking ineptitudes and my stuttering and speaking too fast. I'm just saying, if you look at a couple of first episodes where there's no subscribers at all, darn, late, darn near, and where we're at today, it's been a pretty good improvement. Some might say only a modicum of improvement, but improvement nevertheless. So if you can subscribe that right now, I really appreciate it. And again, that got seven likes. Jake says, quote, thank you for sponsoring the UFC Bud Light. I agree that gender dys uh, dysphoria is a mental illness. Your support means a lot on this issue, unquote. They got 11 likes. And he's, again, they had that partnership with the UFC for $100 million. And interestingly enough, this might change in a, in a second or two. Who knows? But Bud Light isn't taking a stand, as some might say, or discouraging the UFC uh, actual fighters from, act I was about to say, players, which perhaps shows my experience with the sports balls and the fighting. But nevertheless, they still haven't actually told them, hey, we're paying you all this money. Stop speaking like this. So, interestingly enough, there hasn't been a big boycott on Bud Light from the far, as some people would say, politically the leftist, the people who are very much in agreement with the gender ideology and the uh, transition um, cultural phenomenon or whatever you want to call the subject matter. But... I mean, Bud Light is giving them a lot of money and they're saying things that aren't in line with that, some say political, some say cultural ideology, whatever you want to call it, that subject matter. I'm actually surprised there has been any backlash. But now that being said, I'm not sure how many people from that particular demographic purchase Bud Light on average, but I, it is interesting nevertheless. Now we'll go down a couple more. Someone by the name of Tony Scott actually has a picture of himself holding a Bud Light I have no idea if that's just a, it looks like a, a box or something or a mini shade for a pool table that says Bud Light, special sponsor of, I don't know who, is that the Cleveland, the Cleveland, oh, the Cleveland team? Their picture is just an orange helmet, which not very, I don't know who's in the marketing department, but if they charge for someone to design that helmet, that's, I don't want to say they should get their money back. Well, I guess, no, I should. It looks like he, no, he's mentally vacuous. So you go to his profile he just wants free everything. That includes ice cream. What is this? Cleveland Browns. High fructose corn syrup water. Bud Light. Mountain Dew. What is this? Soccer. So just someone who wants free stuff. So again, I, I suppose you could argue that's compelling because there's actually a physical picture of him with the product, which... I was going to say, if someone is a fan of his, maybe they'll buy a Bud Light with that, but I would say not so persuasive, to say the least. Someone by the name of Zuma simply has a gif of Eric Cartman from South Park saying, screw you, they got 14 likes. Here's a couple more comments. David Roberts simply says, no thanks, getting six likes. Tiles says, nope, getting six likes. C. Mill says, not an apology, but more celebrity silence. Unquote, getting four likes. Three says, says quote, nope, don't drink your... Trans piss water, I'm quoting eight likes. Bisman does say MMA is great. Thanks, Bud Light. Getting two likes. 
Brando says, how about F and no? Getting four likes. Keith says, quote, Bud Light is a global joke. Going woke, sending you broke, unquote. Getting four likes. Dave says, piss, unquote. Getting four likes. I'm, let's see. There's really not anything positive. Let's see. Oh, they do have that fun button that says, some of these may be insensitive, yada, yada. Click to see. Absolutely. Some of the super secret hidden responses comes from Daniel Akers, which is hilariously ironic when you consider the content of his tweet. He says, quote, thank you, Bud Light, for supporting free speech and American first values. I became a, fu- a full-on UFC because of you. A full-on, unquote. They got two likes. And ironic that someone is giving them accolades for freedom of speech is then censored themselves. And let's see here. Let's see. CJ says, quote, we got Bud Light to give Dana White, White 100 million. You will never see some idiot buying a Bud Light at UFC. That's like bringing the devil to the church. Unquote, getting one like. Adolf Schrickler, Schicken Gruber says, quote, pedo beer. And it is a picture of a pride parade with a adult man in a thong, a pride Japanese themed flat, uh, not flag, a fan, naked except, uh, completely naked except the thong, some BDSM straps, a uh, unicorn, what do you call it? Unicorn point on his head, and wearing high heels, and this man is gyrating in front of children. And they got nine likes. Let's see here. Let's see. We'll have to go to the very top here. And of course, there are the ones that Bud Light are ultra, ultra hidden ones. So if you click that button to see the ultra hidden ones. Interesting. So they may have deleted them? Because usually if the button is not there, that means there's nothing ultra hidden. And if the button is there, you can click it and see what's being hidden. I click it and it says there's nothing there. So based on my previous experience with Twitter, I would think that means they deleted it somehow. But looking at all the replies, I mean, as the youth might say, I mean, their ratio to say the least, and culturally speaking, let me know in the comments if you think differently, I can't help but think their sales for this year are not going to get any better, though they're going to certainly spend a record amount of money on marketing. It'll be interesting to see if any of that marketing is actually provide a positive return on investment. But as I always say, time shall tell. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in today. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment. is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.